Thin layer chromatography. What is it? How does it work? And why is it useful? Thin layer chromatography is, surprise surprise, a type of chromatography. Previously on the channel we have covered a lot of other chromatographies and all of them have a few things in common. First, they separate mixtures of substances into their constituent components. Second, they all have a stationary phase and a mobile phase. Third, the mobile phase flows through the stationary phase and carries the sample with it. Fourth, different components in the sample will travel at different rates due to how they interact with the stationary phase, thereby separating them. Basically, it is similar to two cars on highway traveling in the fast lane and the slow lane. Even if the cars start at the same position and time, after a certain amount of time, they will have separated from another due to the speed at which they travel. A simplified version, but hopefully effective to demonstrate the principle for you. Now let us take a look at what this looks like in reality. So here we have a very basic setup for a thin layer chromatogram. A pencil line has been drawn near the bottom of the TLC plate and a small drop of sample solution has been placed on this line and marked. The plate is then placed inside a beaker with a small amount of solvent in it. Note that it is very important that the level of solvent is below that of the sample drop. Due to capillary action, the solvent will begin to move up the plate and take the sample with it. As the solvent slowly travels up the plate, the different components of the mixture travel at different rates and the mixture is separated into different spots. The solvent is allowed to rise until it almost reaches the top of the plate, giving the maximum separation of the components of the sample. At that point, the plate gets removed from the beaker and the position of the solvent is marked with another line. Finally, please remember to like this video to help it spread to other people who could find it useful. That might be the most important step. These different lines can then be used to calculate something called the RF values, which help us identify what compounds are present in the sample. This RF value is calculated by using the formula RF equals the distance traveled by the components divided by the distance traveled by the solvent. But what makes these compounds separate differently from each other in the first place? Well, mainly two things. First, how soluble the compound is in the solvent, which depends on how much attraction there is between the molecules of the compound and those of the solvent. The more attracted the compound is to the solvent, the faster it travels through the chromatogram. Second, how much the compound sticks to the stationary phase, which depends on how much attraction there is between the molecules of the compound and the silica gel that is used as the stationary phase. So, in other words, the more attracted the compound is to the stationary phase, the slower it travels through the chromatogram. But why is all of this useful? Well, the reason why chromatographies like TLC are so useful is that they allow us to easily and efficiently separate different compounds from each other in a solution. This means that a TLC can be used in order to identify compounds, determine their purity, as well as follow the progress of an ongoing reaction. If you want to learn more about other types of chromatographies, here is my playlist where I have added all my videos on the topic that I have made and will make. Until next time.